So in this web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can write a function that will convert a value in Celsius into its equivalent Fahrenheit value. So you might get asked to do this as part of a coding interview, or possibly you're just completing some exercises online and you need to know how to do this. So let's first of all create a function that does the conversion for us. So we'll say there's a function here called Celsius to Fahrenheit. And it's just going to take one argument. I'm going to use an arrow function here. So I'm just going to say uh, the Celsius value uh, is coming in as the argument. And then we'll do the conversion and we'll do this by setting up a new variable uh, just called Fahrenheit value. And the value we're going to set that to is basically the Celsius value multiplied by 1.8 uh, plus 32, which is the standard way of converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if you didn't know that formula and you were in an interview, I'm pretty sure it'd be okay to actually Google it. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that you just kind of remember over time if you keep doing this sort of exercise. And there's no real need to here, but I'm just going to group the uh, result of the Celsius value multiplication uh, just to make it clear as to what group, what we're actually multiplying. We're not actually adding 32 to 1.8 and then multiplying it by the Celsius value. And I think that just adds a little bit of clarity as to what is actually being multiplied together and what is being added. Okay, so once we've done that conversion there, we're just going to return the value from the function. Uh, and with that in place, what we can then do is just uh, call the function wherever we need to. And if we pass it in some value now, we can see now that 32 degrees in Fahrenheit is equivalent to 89.6 degrees in Fahrenheit. So of course there are a couple of things that you can do to shorten this should you wish. Uh, there's no real need to actually have this intermediate uh, variable inside the function, uh, although it doesn't hurt uh, to have that in for clarity. But what we can do is just actually return this uh, calculation here without having the intermediary variable. So we can just say straight away uh, return result of that formula. Uh, I think my linting has actually taken off the brackets here. So every time I save that, they do get removed. So just to show that they are unnecessary, um, but uh, it's no bad thing to have them in there. And of course, because we're using an arrow function, we can have what we call an implicit return as well. So we can actually remove this uh, return statement and just put this all on one line, uh, not forgetting to remove uh, the curly braces because they're no longer needed. And because we only have one argument into the function, we can actually remove the parentheses around that first argument as well. So there you go, there's just a simple example of how to solve this kind of problem. And if you are stuck uh, creating a function, uh, writing Celsius values to Fahrenheit, uh, then hopefully this has shown you how to do that. So that's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.